This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. There's more coming up here at 800 259. There was a guy who called into Free Talk Live a while back and he. Uh he was, I think, lamenting that uh, the ideas of freedom are, are, are a little bit complicated to explain in a sentence or two. He was having trouble debating people. I think, though, that the ideas are simple and shouldn't take more than a few words to explain. That's why I refer to my ideology not as libertarian, but as anti-aggressionist. And it doesn't take much more than those two words to explain where I'm coming from. It's simply an 11th commandment. Thou shalt not commit acts of aggression. And almost everything else follows seamlessly from that. It's a great, you know, point to bring up in a debate. Forget about talking, you know, about whether Obamacare is good for the economy. Forget about talking about whether it's good to be in Iraq. Just ask that question. Okay. Uh, you're advocating something. Uh, w my question then would be, are there any acts of aggression involved in what you're advocating? That immediately takes the conversation to the root of the matter. And no matter how the conversation goes, it should stick in their mind and come back up later. Thou shalt not commit acts of aggression. Now, one flaw with this uh, line is... Um, that it's, it's only really useful, it's either mostly useful when someone's advocating a specific program or course of action. Uh, so, for instance, I really ought to start using this in ambush interviews. Uh, say I'm at a school board meeting and there's a board member who has advocated, you know, a, a zero tolerance policy for firearms or something like that. I guess the question I should be asking him as he comes out the door, I uh, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about your your plan, you know, with firearms, uh, zero tolerance. My question is, are there any acts of aggression uh, that would have to be undertaken as part of your plan? Uh, and of course, that's going to trigger a sort of a blank look, a surprise, a, uh, 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 well, uh, I'm definitely against aggression. That's why I don't want firearms in the schools, right? That's that's the, the reaction that I'm going to get. So I guess my answer would need to be, okay, so your new plan, uh, is it going to cost taxpayers anything? What's the, what's the situation there? Again, that might not even have come up into his thinking. Uh, and he might, well, you know, he might say, yes, it might cost a little bit, but it's worth it, blah, 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 blah. And uh, then the question becomes, well, now is it, is it right to force taxpayers to underwrite your plan. I mean, this is going to be an additional expense, right, sir? Well, everything we do involves some expense. This is going to save us, could save us money down the road, could save lives. Saving one life is worth blah, 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 blah. Well, then I guess my question, sir, would be what, you know, what do you think should happen to someone if they refuse to pay this extra expense that you're going to undertake? What if they have an ethical objection to you uh, uh, preventing people from the self-defense? Shouldn't, shouldn't they be able to stop paying you? And that's going to trigger kind of a, a laugh, a nervous slash amused laugh. Well, I know that you know, we all have to pay our taxes, blah, 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 fair share, ya, 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 ya. But again, at least you're moving the conversation away from children's safety, blah, 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 additional control over the building, blah, blah, blah. We should be doing this. We need an environment that, blah, blah, blah. And it shows the gun to be in their hand. I actually tried using this once in a whole totally different context. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.